All right, guys. So we had bi a big announcement today that literally came out of nowhere. Like I had to like do a double take to make sure this was real. Like I had to make sure this was a legit 100% thing, even though yeah, it was on Bloody Disgusting's uh, whole like page. I was like, Wait, what? What? How did? Is this? Is this real life? W what? <laughs> That's what That's what my mind was Because I was like, this has to be a joke This has to be a straight up, like Uh Fucking joke Because, like Yeah I was just shocked Um uh, Yeah, this, uh This is real 100% real We are getting a Killer Clowns video game. We are getting a straight-up Killer Clowns from Outer Space video game. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of my favorite, um, mo like, cult movies. It's definitely been, actually, like, recently, it's been getting some major traction. Along there with, um, Trick or Treat, in that both movies were, you know, kind of, uh, cult classics that have recently come into the major popularity, eye of popularity. Um, and... It's now like, uh, it's it's now like gotten to like major popularity, like it was just cult favorite, and now it's in the mainstream, and people want more of it. I mean, hell, um, just like Trick or Treat, Halloween Horror Nights is now doing more and more stuff with Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If only we could get a sequel. Well, we got a video game, and I was like, holy shit, we're getting a video game, and it's from the create. It's one of the it's one of the main creative directors from. The Friday the 13th game? Yay. Now, let's get this out of the way first and foremost. It's another game that's going to be a lot like the Friday the 13th game and the Dead... More importantly, it's going to be a lot like uh, Dead by Daylight. It's going to be very much um, like Dead by Daylight and... Um, Yeah, it's another one of those games, just like the Evil Dead game was, that just like um, the tex new Texas Chainsaw video game is. So I know some people are already like rolling their eyes. I even saw in the comments like people were rolling their eyes like another one of these Dead by Daylight ripoff games. Here's the thing, though. Dead by Daylight sells like a lot. And yes, even I'm like <sighs> another one. There's a part of me that's like another one of these. I was kind of hoping that the Evil Dead game was not like Dead by the, in the Dead by Daylight style because you could do some really cool survival horror stuff with that game, and they just said just follow just trends. Not that that's a bad thing, but like it did you know put the game out there, and thank God for that. You know, it gave us some popular gave it gave the content more creative. Uh, um, it definitely gave like some more. Pop, you know, more spotlight on the Evil Dead franchise for regular gamers. So to have this kind of done in the same fashion with Killer Clowns is pretty cool. Like, I do like the fact that we are getting, like, a legit Killer Clowns from outer space full-on video game. And this style, this one I will give credit. Now, granted, you could do make an argument for, like, survival horror with Killer Clowns from outer space. Like, have it set sometime in, like, a while ago, and... Like, set it, like, a few years after the first movie and have it be, like, someone in town is, is like, trying to survive in the city as it's being sieged by killer clowns. But this style does work, too, because it's going to be multiplayer. It's not like... It, well, they're all multiplayer, but what I mean is... Um, one per... It won't be just one person playing a clown and trying to capture the others. Instead, it's going to be, like... Almost like a Call of Duty thing where you play as survivors... And there's another team playing the clowns, so that's really cool. I really like. I really do like that. That thought of hey, where you have multiple clowns rather than just pick one. We're gonna let people pick multiple ones, and they've even said like multiple. E each clown is gonna have like their own different abilities, and I imagine that's gonna be the same for the survivors as well. The fact that this was kept it so well hidden is really cool. I really like that this. That sometimes I can just be pleasantly surprised with something and not like have a leak ruin it. Not that I don't hate leaks, it's just sometimes I I enjoy a pleasant surprise, and this was definitely a pleasant surprise for me to see here. This was nothing short of just uh, a lot of fun. 
I really also... Uh, we got to see what little gameplay we got to see. It was really cool. I really enjoyed like how you can utilize the guns, the, uh, the cotton candy gun for the clowns, as well as the pop... Uh, I'm wondering how they're going to use the other ones, like the popcorn gun... Or how they're going to use... Like, maybe they'll use it like you shoot it, and then it, like, can track a survivor or survivors, depending on how many you hit. Um, I'm also wondering how they're going to utilize the other clown gags. Because, like, you have the shadow puppets, you have the hammer, which we never got to see that done. We got to see the puppet show. I imagine that will probably be, like, a finisher of some kind. Uh, there's also, like, a lot of stuff that could be used... Um, there could be a lot of stuff used for, um, what was I going to say? There's a lot of stuff that you could use in this game that could really transition well to the video game, like in the, from the movie to the game. Again, like I said, the shadow puppets, the, the, and actually one I'd really like to see, I would really love to see this done in the video game is knock your block off like have when you play shorty you can use as a finishing move the knock your block off and it just knocks the person's head off and they, it goes flying into a garbage can just there's a random garbage can that shows up and it just lands there every time and also you have got to have for like maybe what we can do and i'm hoping we get is um uh, the final, like the final survivor, when the other, when the rest of the clown team captures the final survivor, it's the "What are you gonna do with those pies, boys?" and they just pie them to death, and then one of the clowns just come on, put the cherry on top of the melted body. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, that would be a lot of fun. We also know that apparently um, John Massery, the original composer of the music, is coming back. Uh, I believe that. Yeah, I did read that in an article. I don't know if that's fully confirmed. I also heard that Crazy Links, the uh, the band that did two songs for uh, the Friday the 13th game, are going to be in here um, doing an original song. Yay. I was kind of hoping for the Dickies, but I think some of the members are gone, sadly. Um, yeah. This is really cool. And I do, I do understand. I really do understand the... Um, the eye rolls. I really do understand, like, the legit eye rolls for this game. I Because, again, we're doing the same thing over again, but thankfully it won't be, like, it won't be 100%, but we are doing in the vein of every horror game has to be, like, Dead by Daylight. And I kind of want, like, at least an IP game to be different. I want an IP game to be different, um, an IP-based horror game to be different. Because I don't think you can do a group killer kind of game with like Candyman or Phantasm well no I take that back you could definitely do a Dead by Daylight style game within Phantasm totally, I take that back but there are like I would like to see a, a survival horror game like Alien Isolation was but done with a different character like Freddy like Michael like so many others and I feel like we haven't gotten that in a long time and I feel I don't think the I think the last one was Alien Isolation that we had an IP based uh, survival horror game. So I think it would be nice to have that come back in some capacity and not just kind of ride trends. Um, but that's what happens with all, a lot of video games is like when one gets popular, everyone else has got to fall in line with that until the uh, the gra the the uh, gravy train runs out. That's how it always that's how it always uh, pretty much is, right? <laughs> anyway. So no, I am, I'm very, regardless, I am excited because it's really cool that, you know, Ca Killer Clowns from Outer Space was literally a movie no one gave a shit about other than, oh, it's this kooky clown movie. And now it's gotten so much popularity that we've had it have special screenings. It's had massive uh, fan base love. It's had massive recent M Main Street love. Like, hell, I was in Spirit Halloween and they had tons of Killer Clowns from Outer Space um, merch. Like, a lot. It wasn't, like, one or two things. It was, like, several things I found. Um, and it was actually, like, it, it was, like, it broke my brain of, like, how much Killer Clowns, much like Trick or Treat, has come out and it, like, come in more and more into the mainstream. And, yeah, is it, is it so hard to get a fucking, you know, is it, is it so hard to get, like, a fucking, uh, sequel? 
we were supposed to get that, and hopefully, I'm really also hoping that the Kyoto Brothers are a part of this game as well. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I do hope the Kyoto Brothers are a part of this project too. I heard somewhere that they are, not 100% sure on that. But anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this? the announcement of a Killer Clowns from Outer Space game? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, are you hoping we'll get, you know, what clowns are you hoping to get? What kind of clown kills are you hope, are we hoping to get? And also, are you hoping to see, like, some of the... Sadly, we don't have John Vernon any round, and there are some actors who have passed on since the movie, but we just still have the actor who played Mike Tobacco. It'd be cool as a character. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.